What's all this smoke? I'm making creamy, smoky pasta with aubergines. Nice. Uh, that's what's for dinner tonight. And I was thinking, might you want to be my date? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, so um, let me do get. Let me get everything ready. Okay. And I'll have you back, and we'll have a nice dinner right, together. Thanks. See you later. As I said to Chai, I'm making smoky and creamy aubergines. So there's uh, some aubergines, eggplants here, smoking away, and they should take about between half an hour and 45 minutes to get that nice flesh that gives the pasta its really nice smoky uh, flavor. But I'm also gonna use these two aubergines, AKA eggplants, um, to dice and to cook in the oven. So we're gonna have two textures. One of them is the pulped smoky pup, and the other one is the um, roasted dice. So I'm just going to quickly uh, cut them into dice and put them in the oven. Kind of two, three centimeter dice. You could do it very roughly. It's not a precise science. It just needs to look good and delicious and aubergine, which is exactly what I'm doing here. Um, I'm leaving the skins on. Again, they look good and they, um, they are what uh, ensures that the aubergine don't um, break up all together. The paper is very much recommended because it makes sure that, um, that they don't stick to the tray. And be quite generous with your olive oil. For this amount, you want kind of two, three tablespoons. Again, also with the salt, you want to be quite generous. I'm gonna put them in the oven now for about half an hour and I'm gonna just stir them halfway through. So I've got the aubergines in the oven, the diced, and I'm keeping an eye on these uh, smoking uh, aubergines because uh, that you need to turn them quite a bit. Again, we want the skin to char and burn because that will give the nice smoky flavor to the to the flesh inside, so I'm, I carry on turning them. And I've got quite a nicely, nice big grill pan here, which I can add more vegetables to, and those would form the base for the sauce. So I've got like three tomatoes, um, one chili and one onion, and they go on the grill pan for much less than the aubergines. They take at least half an hour. Those should take about 10 minutes, but I can just put them alongside and take them out when I need to. So the chili will just go whole, the tomatoes will go in whole, and the onion, I'm literally just uh, peeling and cutting into quarters, and you can be quite rough with this because all this will be blitzed into a pulp at the very end. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil to these veggies, not too much because otherwise they're gonna uh, burn on the grill. Tiny bit of salt. So I'm just gonna place those next to the um, next to those aubergines, the chili, the onion wedges, the tomatoes. And the lovely thing about this is that you really don't need to worry about it. All you need to be standing here with your magic tongs, you really have to have some tongs, and keep on turning them and the sauce kind of almost like makes itself. It smells like a Turkish kebab house. Isn't it? As soon as you start grilling the onion, <laughs> I'm thinking about the kebab. But this is vegan. That's the beautiful thing about this dish. You get the kebab shop smells and you get a wonderful, substantial vegan dish. Chaya, I'm just going to do some shelf reflection. Uh, do you mind keeping an eye on my vegetables? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, so I've got a couple of questions here um, for the shelf reflection department. Um, so this is one that I like. For someone starting out cooking, what essential kitchen item is, um, is worth investing in? So it, sa it says item. I think we can talk about items because, you know, essential, you, you, need, you need a good knife, good thick bottom pots and pans so things don't burn, a microplane grater 
for parmesan, for lemon zest, for ginger, for garlic. It's really, really useful. And uh, if I need to add one more to that list, there would be the lemon squeezer. It's so useful. You don't get, you get like pure lemon juice. It's like my second hand. Favorite thing to stash in the freezer. So for me, uh, the freezer has two things, things that I made and things that I bought on the things that I bought, bought department. Uh, it, from there, I would say for me, pastries. So really good supermarket, ready rolled butter puff. You can make a wonderful galette in like five minutes and stick it in the oven with caramelized onion, or you can make a fruity one if you want to do a dessert, or, or phyllo pastries. Those are essentials uh, in my freezer. And then things I made, because I'm, I'm a huge believer in batch cooking, so I do that often because I've got young kids. So uh, even the sauce that Chaya is nicely helping me uh, making now, that sauce could go into uh, plastic containers, go in your freezer, ready for a rainy day. Okay, phone away, and I'm going back to the kitchen and Chaya, thank you. Okay, so um, my vegetables are looking good. I think um, the onions um, can come off and the chili is looking glorious. That can come off too. And those tomatoes, I'll give them a couple more minutes just to kind of cook a little bit more from inside. And the aubergines, they're doing really well too. So if you see how they deflate and the skin cracks and breaks, that's exactly what you want. So the olive oil goes into the pan and I'm going to heat up the oil and, and then get some tomato paste in there. That's for color and for acidity. And some crushed garlic that goes in there too. And some paprika. And this will give the sauce a really nice deep red color. So I'm gonna take the tomatoes out. They're nice and grilled on all sides. And probably nice and soft in the middle. Look, this just looks so beautiful and um, dark. And that's the, that's the chip that adds to the smoky flavor. So they're nice, I can see, you see the, the skin is coming off and separating from the flesh. That means my aubergines are ready, so I'm just gonna put them in, these, in this colander for some of the liquid to come out. So I, you can see how this really transforms. It turns from something which is just simply red into something really velvety, dark, beautiful red. So once you've reached that stage, I'm gonna add it to the pan with my vegetables. Look at that color, beautiful. So let's, let's grab one of those and open it up. And the, the, the steamy smokiness that's coming out of the aubergine, that's what you're looking for. Smoky steam. You want to get rid of most of the skin, so these big black bits uh, you want to try to get rid of, but some of it is absolutely fine. If you get a fleck here or a fleck there, that's, that's okay. So I've got uh, the aubergine smoky straight out of the griddle pan, those tomatoes, chars, the chili, the onion. And normally we don't char sauces, we just cook them in a pan. So this is a different way, uh, but it introduces a lot of flavor. So I'm gonna take all that, season it with a bit of salt and just throw it straight into um, the food processor. And that is our sauce. Um, these diced aubergines are ready and they're gonna go into the blitz sauce. So they're gonna give us a little bit more texture and also offer garnish on top at the very end. Now I'm gonna get my sauce and put it back, back into the pan. Uh, 
Um, so I'm just going to heat this up and um, before I, this is going to be re ready to receive the pasta, but I'm just going to add some of these aubergines as well. And that will give you an aubergine texture that you don't get from the smoky pop that is, uh, that's been blitzed. So about half of these will go straight into the sauce and the other half are going to be thrown on top. sauce is ready and now I'm just gonna boil my pasta and I'm gonna use this colander to save me some straining so all that pasta is going in there and I've got about eight minutes which is the perfect timing to make my tahini sauce so I've got tahini paste here and some crushed garlic I'm gonna squeeze a lemon and be very generous with the lemon juice at this stage and um, a bit of salt and I'm gonna get some water and just add a bit and then I might either need a little bit more to bring it into a nice pouring consistency so that's the texture you're after so it just drops off uh, the spoon I'm going to chop up a bit of parsley for garnish. I'm going to add my parsley to the, to the aubergines with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Cool, so this looks ready. Mmm. It is nice and al dente. And, excuse me, um, I'm just going to use uh, the colander to put that straight in. So we've got the, the sauce ready. And it might look a bit dry at this stage, but we're adding lots of pasta water, so that will thin it down nicely. And I'm gonna just scoop out a bit of water, and you can do that in two stages just to get to the texture that you want. I'm gonna pour some in here now, stir it, so um, if you don't have this particular sh pasta shape, of course you can use other pasta shapes. Uh, the sauce itself is really unctuous and delicious, so you could use it as a dipping sauce or a sauce for other things that you want, like couscous. So it's a, it's a really all, nice all-rounder, smoky, creamy sauce. And now I get my bowl and I'm ready to serve. So this is a really, really beautiful dish. So it's really nice to take a big platter like this one and spread it out, bring it to the table as a kind of a visual statement. I think it really will make an impact. So all those lovely shelves go straight in there, nice and warm. And um, I'm gonna finish it off with some of that tahini. Uh, if you don't have tahini, you don't have to, to do this, uh, or you can use something else like yogurt. It's totally up to you. Uh, it just adds a really nice creamy touch. So I'm just gonna drizzle that very loosely over the pasta. And it just mixes in in such a beautiful way. Noor said someone on Instagram says that pasta alla norma, which is a Sicilian pasta, meets uh, baba ganoush, and uh, she thinks, and I think it's just a, just a wonderful uh, description of this dish. That's basically it, so that's ready. Oh, that's so good. I love aubergine. I love aubergines. I really love you back. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, aubergine is like my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, Noor. Your time so. will come. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. 
to the OTK channel and the Food 52 channel. And next week on the Food 52 channel, uh, we've got one pot chicken with orzo and it's divine.